Hello Gothic friends, Razi Vince Vene. welcome back to the world's let's play of the world Gothic 1 Unreal Engine. We are going to continue into the Orc Cemetery and see what the Sleeper wanted with the, with the Templars, well with the Sect Camp, because their core column, their leader, got struck down by something. We have to fight with some Orcs, we got a lot of mummies to, to open here. The Orcs are quite hard for us, because... We sold our good weapon, the good sword. But we have to eat everything that we have here. We need light. Luckily we have a spell of light. A rune, not a spell. So we are going to clear all the orcs first and then we are going to, to start looking for the Mummies and the uh, caves. Okay, looks like they are done. So here we come in. We will go to the right and check everything. Some of those caves can, uh, yeah, the pensions and stuff can be opened from somewhere. Usually they have a lot of goodies. We have to sell the spells also, the ones that we have as runes. Oh, okay. Normally there are uh, buttons here to press, but I mean, not here, but normally in some... Oh, there is one, for example, see? There is a button that opens some other of the cages. Lots and lots of stuff. So those are orcs, but it looks like Children orcs, right? Lots of mummies, so the start is going to be slow. Do we have anything else up here? No, nothing. Down here, there is one cave. With three small mummies. Trushvarok. Wait, that guy had a orc weapon already. Strength okay, that's very good. Because we have a flame protection against fire. Now we hit a lot harder because 10 strength is a lot here. Storm of fire, we have that as a rune. Here we have some plants we can pick up. So up here we can go. But there looks like it's another cave up there, right? It's too far away, it has nothing, yeah. Story of our lives. They have nothing. We didn't loot them, did we? No, we didn't. Oh, here we cannot get either. But here we can get... Oh, there is a button. I saw it. It's on, on the side, on the left side of the cage. We are going to open and press on it. To, I believe the, the ones that we open after have more goodies than those that were already opened, the cages with the mummies. Oh, there is an orc. No buttons, but just three mummies. The armor looks very nice. It's just not as strong as we think that it should be. There is also another cage. That those are added from the mod. Wars Ward, okay, not bad. I don't know if that's good what we are doing. Oh, I hear some orcs. But we know where the orcs are because we have seen them. And luckily on this cave there is only one way to go. Where are the mummies with the goodies? Well, the plus 10 strength is a very good find.
There are, there are plants. We're already rich here. We don't have to buy a lot of stuff now. And we still have a lot to sell. A lot of trophies. I just wish they made it a bit harder. They, they give the merchants a limited ore, like in the original. Then you would have to check every one of them to get enough ore. To be able to buy stuff. We hear some fighting. But we don't care, right? Ring of ore skin, what, what's that ring? Dexterity. Maximum life, okay, we don't need that, but protection again. Yeah, that, that, that's very good, the protection. Fire, I don't, I don't get it, what's up with the fire? They don't really have a lot of fires here. Only the... Oh well. Ooh. There is one more. Oh, okay. We we see where the, the button is to unlock it. Yeah, that's a weird way of getting inside. Yeah, it's the one to the left. So as you can see, those are a little bit better because they have more stuff, like rings and stuff. Yeah, strength plus ten. Okay, we don't need the protection. We need a strength because we are battle mages. It means the protection is going to go away. And now we have 75 strength. Quite good, right? We have to... Oh, look a lot of protection. We will wear it only if we... We have problems with, uh, with taking damage. Then we are going to equip it. And thank them. We won't wait. it. We hit a little bit weaker. So we heard there is a fight with someone. Here are some works. Yeah, we might have to go with a defense, I believe. Wow. Okay, let's go defense then. And see if the defense has a against fire and magic, fire. Oh, we cannot do that. Only the ring. Okay, let's see if that's better. I didn't expect them to be able to create. But as they can create, then we have problems. We can have problems with them. And we are not masters of this sword, sadly. Another sword. Oh, we get better and better swords from them. We started with 30 damage, 33 and now 34. Oh, this takes forever to... But uh, we are done with it. As we use them, we are going to have less and less uh, stuff in our inventory that is just adding up. I like a cleaner inventory. I believe 10 uh, protection is better than 5 strength. Once we we learn to wield the weapon with no problems, then we can we can fight with a strength. I mean, we can go with a strength. Oh boy! Fall the core. Is Fall the core mad at us because we AOE him? No. In the last moment, I came across some dead Templars on the way here. What happened? Uh, explain to us. Core Angar sent us here to investigate the caves. 
We expected to find nothing but stuffy graves and half-decomposed mummies. Suddenly, the darkness shifted and there were orcs everywhere. I don't know what they're looking for here, but their appearing here is more than unusual. Where are the other Templars? Dead. On the floor. I unwittingly led them to their destruction. I hope this sleeper will pardon me. He will pardon you, don't you worry. Have you found any sign of the sleeper? Not so far. But what about Iberian? Has he come to yet? No, he's still unconscious. We need to solve the riddle of these caves. After all these dreadful losses, I can't go back to the community empty-handed. Very true. My fighting skills are limited, and the orcs don't react to my magic spells like the gullible people in the old camp do. With our brother, it's Watch out what you're saying. I'm from the old camp. Further investigation of this tomb. The posture of us looks so weird. It's like our legs are bent backwards. I'll help you. Good. Excellent. There are three tunnels leading out of this hall. We should search them all. Go okay. ahead. I'll follow you. Okay, what do we need? Light. First and foremost, light. We came from here, right? Yes. We need a Templar with... with two-handed sword. So, let's go to the left. And see where this leads us. We have to search all three of them anyway, so... Tonight we'll have meat. Tonight we'll have meat. Tonight we'll have meat. Do you eat pork meat? So we know where this is. This is the final one where we have to go. So that means the one to the left, once we get into the cave, is not the one that we want to follow. Just weird that he says tonight we will have meat, pork meat. Oh, nice. The range is weird for more weapon. Tonight we will have meat, but before tonight we have to get ourselves some meat. What the hell? Where did that guy come from? Oh, someone from down below is coming up here. Just watch it. Because we heard someone pulling their weapon. Is the guy coming from here? Yep. So, up there we, we can fall down here. Then we go down here and then up there. But first, we have to get ourselves some meat on our bones and don't let the guys kill us. Lots of eating and chewing. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of potions, sadly. Someone pull their weapons. Lots of weapons. Stop coming here. Are you the guys from the above? I think you guys are the guys from above. I believe this way goes in different portions of the cave now. Oh, boy, sleeping. I wish there was a speeding stuff mode for it. Okay, that's it. So, we came from up there, then we will go to the left. Tonight we'll have meat. 
has start attacking. It's it's the thing if you mess it up then you have a penalty. You cannot just hit up again. Okay. There we can fall down, we know. We've been there. We can go on here. Maybe these niches bear hints. Okay, let me pick up my mushrooms first and then we will see what what's happening here. Okay, there is a button. Here is something inside. I think we are going to get uh, stuck in here. Just watch it. If I remember correctly. No? Okay. And here, nothing. Okay, we have the spell that we got. We cannot open it. Okay, cannot read it. What about you? I found a piece of parchment. It looks like an orcish spell scroll, but it's been torn in two. There must be another half somewhere. Yeah, that's easy, right? So we came here to the left side, then there is something in the front here. Oh, there is nothing, okay. There's also nothing. Here were only the works. That means we only have to go there where it's up. Hopefully we will find a second partial there and then we can go to the left one. We need light. On the video I can see that it's not so dark. I try to put the same darkness in the videos as I have here, but it's not good. Mm, this tunnel leads to a dead end. Maybe you'll find some clues here that'll help us further. Yeah, let's see. What about this word? Rusty bastard sword. Okay, that's a good sword. One-handed and it's long. Yeah, we might have to, to use a one-handed and then we will go with a strength. Because with strength we hit faster now. War sword, okay, that looks they got killed by arrows. Balducor, look, another piece. Other half of the Orcus spell scroll. No. What do we do with the two pieces now? The two halves match, but I can't translate these Orcus signs. Okay. Are you going to follow me again? Yes, you are. So the sword looks nice. It's long. Hang on. This is interesting. Well, I can't find anything interesting in this place. Lots of dead Stop stuff. And take a look at the ornamental runes in this cave. Yeah, these should suffice to translate the two halves of the parchment. I have it. It's a teleportation spell. It seems that fast you learned the Orkish language. In a certain place. Strange. Yep. Do you have anything else? No. Oh, it says our experience up here also. We don't have to check our statistics, actually. Not bad. So, let's check the, the deadly room. Okay, potions. Potions are good. Where is here? Oh damn it, did we take the wrong turn? But look or why didn't you say anything? We went on the wrong way. So as soon as we get out of here to the left side. Yeah, that's where we want to go. This is the road. Okay. 
Cannot wait to learn the next level of. Okay, there is a two of them. And we can use some magic actually. Orc warrior, yeah, this is the, the stronger one. Here's if we can one shot it. So big. Tonight we'll have meat. Do you want to eat orcish meat? Yeah, he does a lot of damage. Lots of damage is no bueno for us. One more orc, and I believe we are done for. Uh, we are done here with the orcs. We can just explore it a little bit and then go with the ball, the core. The crazy dude. We need two level ups to learn the next battle stance. But we are going to check those little caves. Oh, there is one there also. But the Balukor is very useless for us. He doesn't really deal a lot of damage. All right, we have the one-handed. Now we can we can connect some hits. Can we actually get up here? Is there something here? More light, please. It's really weird that here is nothing, like literally nothing. There is a bridge to go on the other side. And here is another bridge also. Why isn't here anything? This bridge and the other one leads to the same spot. Okay, only for that. She deals like no damage. But he served us as a tank. Well, not a tank, but lured them away. So look here, this looks weird, right? Yeah, doesn't look weird at all. Oh, to trigger his convoke. Uh, Convo we have to get here. Yeah, we did it. This hall reminds me of the image in the vision. The vision. We're very close to our target. So he left our party now. Behind this wall. I do like our sword. Look how big it is. My magic powers are still very weak. Use the Orcish teleportation spell here, in front of this wall. Right in front of here. So we are a mage, we can use it. On 8. How much mana do you require? 5 mana. Let's heal ourselves first. Oh, that was fast. So let's let the guy come with us. You found the hidden place. My instincts have not deceived me. And does the answer to the strange invocation of the sleeper really lie here? It looks more like another burial chamber to me. We need to proceed. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Good decision. So many rooms that are totally empty. Night shadow. It's just really weird they don't have more stuff here. This looks like it's 
reworked, right? Nothing there, nothing there. Only this special room. No. This can't be true. There's nothing here but but dust and and bones. No. Master, speak to me. Sleep her. Reveal yourself. No. That was it. Now he's gone completely crazy. This is all your fault. Your unholy presence has enraged the Almighty. Yeah, yeah. Blame it on me. Now I shall have. I need to make a sacrifice for the Master. A human sacrifice. Then he'll be sure to enlighten me and make me his servant. Die, infidel. It's your turn now. Does he deal no damage? Yeah, why why he deals no damage? I believe they screwed up because I noticed on the enemies he deals no damage. Can we actually block? Five hundred health. Doesn't have anything like really. No loot at all. We got a weapon. Battle sword. Sword of that. Okay, this is better. It looks better than what we had. So, that's it with the orc cemetery. Quite short. An introduction to the orcs. They can be deadly. As we can see. The orc warriors are strong. We can't really play with blocking much in this version. Apparently. The magic looks very ugly in my opinion. That's why I'm not really a fan of using it. I'm still going to act as a battle mage. Because I do enjoy it. It's different than just playing the mainstream. Later on we can have all of the abilities. As soon as we start to level up a bit more. Because we are only level 14. It's quite low. We can have more strength. More dexterity. More mana. All the master sword. Uh, two handed, one handed bow, crossbow. That's going to be no problem. We just have to level up more and more. We are going to go to the old, to the sect camp and tell the loonies what happened here. And report to Korangar because he trusts us more than his Templars that are with him for years. Still no dark. The barrier looks as usual. Very, just very. Nothing else to say about it. It's not a complaint, yeah. I still enjoy it. It's a free mod that someone spent a lot of time in making it. It's just it looks a bit different than what it could look like. Oh, I'm curious. Can we jump into the water? No, of course. There is no water here. Why would they have done it that easily? For us now. But what about here? No, no way, okay. No shortcut for us this time. We have a beautiful sword, a beautiful dress. The high fire of magician robe, high robe of fire of magicians. We have to play with the one-handed. I do enjoy it more than two-handed because we are we have nothing in the two-handed once we Learn to wield two-handed, then it's going to be another story. We still have to look after the Iberian. Something has to happen to him, right? He cannot just lay on the rock there. This looks so nice. Look at this. The shadows look different. When there is something in the way of the sun. Yeah, this is the sun. Or is that the Enos? 
It's always dark lately. Yeah, the, the torture is still on. They have automated torches. Very nice. Lester doesn't say or mind us, right? Nobody cares that Iberian is almost dead. They just chit chat here. Let's check it if it's true or not. Lester, my friend. Yep. Yep, nothing. Then we can go directly to Korangar and tell the guy what, what the hell happened there. Oh, someone was just lying there. Oh, the Korkalom is gone. He went mad already, right? Iberian, no, nothing. So, Korangar, let me tell you about your Templars. I've been to the Orc Cemetery. There was nothing there. No sleeper, no sign, no nothing. What about Baal Lukor and the Templars? They're all dead. Dead? But why? What happened? The entire cave system is teeming with orcs. They killed all of the Templars. Baal Lukor and myself survived, but suddenly Baal Lukor went mad. He screamed that the sleeper had ordered him to kill me, and he intended to obey this order. It would appear he couldn't handle the fact that he hadn't found anything. I don't believe that the influence of the sleeper can cause such violent deeds. You would be surprised, Korongar. The most important thing is that Baal Lakor did not succeed in his madness. Iberia is our only hope now. Yeah, the poor guy. Oh, 2000 experience. Very nice. He won't wake of his own accord, and he is growing weaker and weaker. I know how to wake him up, but I need your help. What do you want me to do? Get me the healing herbs from the swamp. Five of the strongest kind should be sufficient. Please, hurry. Okay. Can we tell him that we have those? Maybe. Where can I find these plants? Search for them in the swamp behind the camp. You need to go very deep into it, but mind the swamp sharks don't get you. And now don't waste my time. Go. Don't waste your time, you're just staring at nothing. How will I recognize these herbs? They look like a star with eight green and orange leaves. On your way now. You shouldn't believe everything. Are you going to get pissed at us? No. healing herbs yet. Maybe Fortuno, the herbs trader, has some in stock. Hurry, I need five of them. Iberian doesn't have much time left. And I believe that's how we can trigger the Fortuna to sell it. We are going to check it real fast. We have to go into the the swamp anyway. We have to, to kill the swamp shark in their, their experience. But I'm really curious if Fortuna actually sells it. Then we get our ratio. Then we will check Walkadar. And then we are going to make a break. Because next time we have to go and see what happens. I've come to here. I want what do you want? Yeah, he has those healing herbs. It's not very expensive, but in case we do not find them we can come back to him and buy them. But as I said, we have to go to the swamp anyway to kill the sharks. We need their experience, we have to learn more stuff. Balkadar is not here anymore, okay? Then we are going to make a cut here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode into the swamp with the uh, swamp sharks. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.